Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be on Citadel. Bottom left hand corner, we got Nomad starting as the Teal Terran. Bottom right hand corner, we got Ranged as the White, or did I say Terran? Teal Protoss, White Protoss, Range, and I think I might have even messed that up because of the way, can I color swap this? I cannot. Okay, so Range starting bottom right is White Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we got Nomad starting as the Teal Protoss. Go watch Fallout as chat is letting you know because it is absolutely amazing. This map is going to be on Citadel. This is a ASL map if you guys have not seen it. It's amazing and really cool. You've got the double egg this uh, and kind of a weird vision ramp. This can really be abusive. Uh, I've seen a lot of abuse happen here because of unlocking people. It almost works like an inverted ramp to a degree with the way the vision works there. Uh, and then Kind of an awkward natural. The natural I've seen also not get walled off very well for Terran. Uh, just because of how it is. Uh, you do have a pseudo mineral only, but I haven't seen a lot of players go for this because it's in the middle of a gigantic open middle. Six o'clock location uh, is basically the... You've got... They've been doing a lot of this, the vertical ramps in new maps, just to show off that they can do it. But you've got the gas... Uh, Vertical. This this will be an interesting base because I would expect both players more to expand to the three o'clock, nine o'clock location if it moves to the third base play. So basically, what you do, what you have, is you have a wide open midfield, uh, a bunch of doodads, a couple ramps that are kind of polypoid esque. But really, the story of this map is just the weird vision abuse that can happen on those positions. It looks like we are seeing some variation from Nomad rather than going for the double gate opener this time. It looks like he is going to go ahead. <clears throat> and go for uh, a so mixing it up a little bit isn't gonna uh, is in fact gonna go for gateway assimilator range sorry nomad in the meantime checking top right looks like range wanted to check middle just in case there was double gate because it's a big open buildable middle field and so it is possible for players I, I feel like it's a little bit less it is such a large map I feel like it's a little bit less likely to go for proxy in the middle uh, just because even with proxy in the middle it's still quite a bit of distance to your opponent's base, regardless of what position they spawn. Could also be this distance why Nomad opted to not go for double gate as far as an opener. He is going to go ahead and get the defensive first sell it out. Looks like we have a defensive first sell it opposite side as well. Cybernetics core a little bit earlier there for ranged. Might have skipped the zealot first as far as that build order. I'm guessing that's probably what happened here. And both probes going to come across each other <clears throat> at this corner. Nomad, so that was interesting scout pattern. So Nomad went top right, it looked like, then left, and now he's going to end up with last scout at a very late position, unfortunately. Range making his way bottom left with the, the rest of that scouting pattern. Range being upgraded. Looks like for both players, so no shenanigans as far as next tier tech as of yet. This could be an interesting macro game, both directions. Need to be... I do feel like you have to be a little bit... Oh, is the probe going to be able to sneak through? Range done a, has done a great job. I, I'm not sure if I want to say Range has done a great job sneaking through and Nomad's done a bad job blockading. It looks like the, the Dragoon got the kill opposite side, able to blockade that ramp. But in the meantime, huge advantage for Range, able to spot, first of all, the Cybernetic score whirling before you even got in. <clears throat> going to lose the worker for it, but... Definitely worth the information. One thing I do have to say on this map is you have to be a little bit careful. Make sure you keep vision a little bit more out towards your natural expansion. Just because of how uh, you can lose vision trying to... If, if you... Uh, let's see if I can do it. You, nah, never mind. That's not going to do it. I'll stop fiddling with it. But point being, like, if you end up with troops pushing you in, like, you have to walk up all the way to the edge. And I've, I've seen that abused in PvP here and there. Anyway, in the meantime, Robotics Facility getting dropped. So it looks like it's going to be one gate Robo versus three gate opposite side from Nomad. This could be dangerous for ranged if he, in fact, goes one... Uh, if he just goes ob Observatory, it looks like he is going to go two gate. Never mind, he's going three gate with Robo to, to start. So let's see if this is going to be three gate OBS or a very aggressive three gate Robotics. Or I should say Support Bay. Range just about finished there from Nomad. Nomad not opting to go for... So it's going to be about equal Dragoon counts overall. But the advantage will be in tech. So it looks like Nomad wants to go for a more defense... Interestingly, more defensive three gate into... Because it's a rampless map, three gate into expansion potentially. 
ranged is posturing for maybe something a little bit more aggressive. He's got that observatory building now. And already sending out... Well, he's floating a worker out to mid-map. A little bit. Additional Dragoons positioning forward. Nomad starting to search out on the map. See what he can see. Usually, yeah, three gates just straight up ag uh, aggression. But it looks like, okay, no additional follow-up. It's just going to be the three gate Dragoons. Walking the way across. Ranged. Holding at the forward position. He's also got that probe on the low ground. To see the enemy incoming. So he's going to be prepared for it. Now that he's spotted, Nomad thinking about retreating, playing a little bit of a dancing game with this worker, needs to be somewhat careful because Ranged has that army not that far away. Looks like he wants to go ahead and get some additional scouting information as far as the follow-up, and now that Observer out in the field, which will give an overall vision advantage, which is actually very important as far as being able to walk down and abuse these ramp lines. So Singles Out walks up, Nomad walking into this now recognizes the Dragoon count and that he needs to flee, and so ends up with... So it's 3-gate versus 3-gate, and ends up at a bit of a disadvantage. Let's see if this gets continued pressure, though. Nomad fleeing... Well, he broke off some Dragoons to the north. This could be a game-losing maneuver, though, because he broke them off to the north to maybe go for an underneath counterattack, presuming that Ranged was at a lower gateway count or that he was going to be playing more defensively. Instead, though, Ranged pressing up initially towards that natural expansion. Now the Dragoons are trapped, and that's going to be five dead Dragoons here at the natural <clears throat> but he does at least verify that there's no natural in place worker blockading the way nice block there from ranged and range going to go ahead and drop in that nexus where nomad's going to be able to see it so now nomad now at equal and the observer also going to be able to get a good look at the dragoon count here at the natural on top of everything else so nomad actually up on workers because he dropped the observatory never mind nomad gonna gg right there recognizing that he was down a base at equal worker count and just kind of misread the situation all the way around so we're so it looks like ranged goes up two to one we're gonna move on to game four hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for listening